In the year 1967, two superpowered vigilantes protected the innocent and pursued the guilty. Now, 50 years on, they're out of retirement for one last battle. Yeah, mate, should have seen the old bat's face when I kicked her walking stick over. Sticks not title to own seed. <laughs> yeah, you'll regret this. I mean, what I mean, like, what you thinking, yeah? As if she'd hunt us lads down. Yeah, okay, goodbye, man. Margaret's awake! You, young man, need to respect your elders. Wait, it's you. I did say you'd regret your lack of manners. You're crazy. You've lost it. No need for foul language, young man. We're just putting you straight, alright? Setting you straight? For what? I've never committed a crime. The whole thing with the stick was just a joke. Get over it. I'm not a criminal. No, not a criminal. Just a young man who needs a haircut and has no sense of etiquette instilled in him. You're quite the petty criminal when it comes to committing crimes against old age pensioners. And really, youth such as yourself are the very reason we came out of the retirement. So, what are you? Police? Criminals? <gasps> Assassins? Oh no, Pep. We were superheroes. None of this waitress by day and superhero by night. We do it properly. Crying waits for no one. These days, superheroes just don't work as hard as we did. Wait, that's... cool. Don't you know not to judge a book by its cover? So you have powers. Can I see them? Now, now, you're not here for a treat. You're here for a stone telling off. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a tad rusty. If crime waits for no one, then why did you ever stop being superheroes? Duty cold. Believe it or not, grandchildren also wait for no one. It's your grandmother's honour. This is my eldest grandchild, and this is David, Howard, and there's my youngest, Olivia. Oh, and... Janet, we haven't got time to talk about our grandchildren. Back to business. When was the last time you had a haircut? I'm a confetti cop. Get down. <laughs> 